What's up, guys? What I was gonna say is today I want to talk to you about, in my opinion, what the best tripod on earth is and why I think it's so great. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Okay, so first of all, I think I should probably show you what I'm talking about. Ah. This right here is the Joby, there we go, the Joby Gorillapod. It is a 3kg standard mount Gorillapod. You can find it on Amazon. Um, called by Casey Neistat as the Bendy Tripod. Um, a lot of YouTubers, vloggers, and in general people who use cameras are using these things, either the 5kg or the 3kg. Um, and um, I was like, well, it's pretty much just standard gear. You know, get a camera, get a microphone, ND filter. Gorilla Pod, and then you're like a legit vlogger, right? So anyway, I went online, I did the real research about why do all these people actually use the Gorilla Pod? Because if you're finding people like Casey Neistat, Matty Hapoya, Teppo Hapoya, Peter McKinnon, all these people seem to use the Joby Gorilla Pod. And I was like, besides it just being like a fad item or whatever that all YouTubers use, what makes it so good? Because these people aren't gonna be using a crap piece of gear. Right? So I looked it up and I found a lot of important things, which I will share. And then I actually bought one and got it shipped here. And I gotta tell you, there's a good reason. There's a good reason why everyone uses this thing. There's a good reason. I'm trying to figure out how to film this so I can show you guys the Gorilla Pod. I packed my tripod already. All right, so the Joby Gorilla Pod 3kg kit. It's pretty much this little tripod with all these bendy ball rubber coated covered legs. Um, and you see a lot of vloggers and YouTubers using them. Uh, I would show you the original box and packaging, but I already packed it with all the rest of my stuff. So that's not gonna happen. Anyway, back to, back on, back on point. This thing sells for $47. So yeah, this, you can get this on Amazon for $47. This is the 3kg kit. So it's got the little legs, adjustable ball joint right here, which twists in all these different directions, and a little mounting piece plate that goes usually on the end right there. It's under the camera right now. So more or less, there's a couple reasons why I happen to think this is the best. But let me give you a little bit of a history lesson first. Okay, so a little bit of background. Before I had this Joby Gorilla Pod, I was using that really tiny tripod. I probably showed it to you in a different video, so you might remember that. And that thing honestly sucked. It was so tiny that every time I put it under the camera, I was so worried that the camera would just be like, eh, and just fall over and die. And now, I don't know about you, but I'm using a $1,000 camera with like, couple hundred dollar lens on it. So to me, replacing this if it gets broken is a huge deal. So I'm very careful with my camera. I don't just leave it anywhere. I, and that tripod was stressing me out, really stressing me out. Because every time I set up the camera to film something, I'd be like, is it gonna fall over? Is it gonna tip over? Is it gonna hold the camera? And all that. And I didn't like the stress. So that's reason number one why I switched to the Joby Gorilla Pod. Reason number two is that little tripod was pathetically small and my other big Amazon Basics, there we go, Amazon Basics tripod is huge. It's literally this long with a four-way rotatable ball joint head, legs that extend out like 100 feet. So it's massive, which means putting in a backpack, not practical. Carrying it around on the street, not practical. 
Pretty much doing anything with it except filming here at my desk, not practical. So I couldn't move around with it, it made a horrible travel tripod. But my little travel tripod was so small that it was constantly stressing me out. So those are the two reasons why I switched to the Joby Gorilla Pod. Because those other two, just not cutting it. Pardon the extra noise today. The ladies are hand washing clothes downstairs because we are moving. And there's a lawnmower going on outside that window that's driving me nuts. So if there's a lot of background noise, that is why. Okay, so back on topic here. The Joby Gorilla Pod, um, I've been using it for like two, three, three, four weeks, something like that. Or I've had it for about three weeks and been using it practically. Ever since I made that video, our new house in Mukono, I've had this G Gorilla Pod and that's what I've been fl filming on. Gosh. So that's what I've been filming on lately. And my experience with it is it is a super reliable, super affordable, super practical option that supersedes all other tripods, in my opinion. Now, is that to say that this is the best tripod for everyone, everywhere, in all scenarios? Absolutely not. As I stated earlier, you should be choosing gear that works best for you. Don't necessarily just take my opinion or the opinion of other people on YouTube or online to determine what works best for your filming scenario. Go see if you can borrow some gear from other people and test it out and use it and see what works best for you. If you're maybe a food filmmaker photographer, you might need a full tripod. I, dig I digress. Anyway, so the thing about the Joby Gorilla Pod that I think makes it super useful is it is just the right size to be both a travel tripod and a practical desk filming setup tripod. So it really hits the mark on both of those spots, okay? And what makes it that way is because the foldable... <sighs> Hold on. The joints, see the joints on this sucker? See these joints? They bend. They're flexible, okay? So that means you can make it any size you want. This tripod can be really low to the ground, really tall. It's flexible. So because all of the joints are flexible and it has a rotating ball head, that allows this camera to be filming from down, from, from down, from up, from almost any height that you need. And if it's too short, you can put it on top of a box, on top of a desk, on top of a laptop, whatever, the possibilities are endless. So I found this size tripod allows me to film pretty much everything. I have yet to find something that it's not the right size to film. Also, on top of that, this tripod can be all smushed together and thrown in a backpack or strapped to the side of something really easily. It's not huge, it's not heavy, it's not gonna jostle around. And I'm filming on the Canon EOS RP. I'm using the 24 to 105 millimeter lens. I typically have a microphone, the Rode Video Micro on top, and an ND filter screwed on. So that's a lot of weight sitting on top of this tripod. It holds it no problem. So I've seen a lot of YouTubers and a lot of reviews say the problem they have with the Gorillapod is that, you know, the legs get all wiggly and it falls over and then your camera gets smashed. That hasn't happened to me yet, so it might just be because my Gorilla Pods knew that I haven't had that problem. I might need to make a video later like, oh, my camera fell, it got up. But as for right now, this Joby Gorilla Pod's working great, so I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe the destruction of the joints and stuff comes with age. I'm trying to be careful with it, get it to last a long time. And the last thing that I probably like the most about this Joby Gorilla Pod is that you take all the legs, here we go again, all right, you take the legs of the Joby Gorilla Pod and you squish them all together like this, okay? So they're all together in one beam. Then you can click it onto your camera and it allows you to hold the camera further out from your face. And it gives you a nice solid grip so that when you're filming, you're not worried about letting go of your camera. All right, so as of right now, I have yet to encounter any problems with this Joby Gorilla Pod. It has never dropped my camera. It has never given me any grief. It always works perfectly as both a handle and a tripod. And for those reasons, 
I happen to think that for me, this is probably the best tripod I have ever used, and in my opinion, probably the greatest tripod ever invented. Now that is not to say that this is the perfect tripod for you. I, again, I would highly recommend you go and see whether you want a full tripod, a steady cam, a gorilla pod, a tiny tripod, whatever it is. So yeah, that's my thinking why this is probably the greatest tripod ever. All right, I'm going to the studio for lessons. Then I'm going, gonna go in town. I got some errands to run. All right, I'm in town. So I spend a lot of time on my computer looking at a computer screen. And as such, when I get outside, my eyes have been really hurting me lately. So I'm gonna try and find some sunglasses, just cheap sunglasses I can buy here in town. Because when I'm outside like this, it hurts my eyes. So yeah, let's see what we can find. Okay, so I found like two pair that I kinda like. I don't want the glasses to be too dark, otherwise I won't be able to see my viewfinder. All right, this is glasses pair number one. What do you guys think? I think the tint on these is good. Let's see what's number two. These are number two. They're good, but I don't think I like them as much. I think I like these ones more. I think I'm gonna get these ones, these glasses. All right, success. Got myself some shades. Keep the sun out of my eyes. And uh, you know, my old pair of glasses, they got lost and busted. So I needed a new pair anyway. This works out good. No more squinting. I'm back from town. Um, we talked about the Joby Gorilla Pod earlier. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, um, like down below, comment, let me know what you think. Um, and also of the Joby Gorilla Pod, can't say enough good things about it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much an essential piece of equipment for any YouTuber, filmmaker, person. Probably not a photographer. Uh, yeah, uh, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you guys next time.